We all know somebody who's been impacted by cancer, and this coming weekend, there's an opportunity to honor those fighters while raising money for research and getting a good workout in as well. And joining me live in studio, we have James Bost, a cancer survivor himself, and then co-host of the Outpace Cancer Race. I can't believe it's been a year it's since a I've seen year. you last. What does that even mean? How have you been? I've been well. Life is good. good. Again, I'm, so I'm a seven and a half year pancreatic cancer survivor. So the last year's been the best year. Congratulations, sir. And, and for viewers who aren't familiar with your story, if you wouldn't mind, share your cancer journey with us. Yes, yeah, so I, I was diagnosed in uh, January uh, 2012. It has been seven and a half years mm -hmm. ago. And pancreatic cancer, all forms of cancer are difficult. Uh, they're rough and hard journeys. Pancreatic cancer, when I was diagnosed, the survival rate, well, you had a, about a 6% chance of being, after, uh, of being alive after five years, and that was seven and a half years ago. So really blessed with a fantastic outcome. Uh, Stevenson Cancer Center and other cancer research facilities have actually improved the odds of surviving pancreatic cancer. I think it's 8% now after, uh, after five years, so still not good, but, uh, but there is a trend to uh, you know, early diagnosis and successful treatment. You're a miracle that you're um, sitting here year after probably. year. You really are. And the Stevenson Cancer Center that you just mentioned yeah. uh, ranked top 50 that in terms right. of cancer care. Um, and kind of speak more to the care that they give and, and they're also hosting this race Absolutely. that you're talking about. I'm alive because of Stevenson mm -hmm. Cancer Center and the care I received there. What is unique about them is they are a National Cancer Institute designated facility. So they are a premier cancer provider in all of the United States. They are ranked in the top 50. There's no other NCI designated facility in Oklahoma. And what that means is there are more advanced treatments, clinical trials, which means the treatments tomorrow, standard treatments tomorrow, they're being developed there today. And this race is a way, as you said, to honor, remember, celebrate those people who have had that cancer journey, but also the proceeds all stay in the state of Oklahoma Fabulous. and goes to additional research. And is, have you had this race in years past as well? And if so, paint the picture of, of what this day looks like. I know it's a 10K and a 5K. Right. And a fun run. And a fun, a fun run. run. Uh, yeah, so this is the second year. It started a year ago. And um, I kind of conceptualized the idea of this because Cancer is a journey, it is, it is difficult. There are peaks and valleys, but a key part of it is you don't have to go through it alone. There are so many people willing to help you, so many people who, once you've gone through cancer, you have a lot of empathy for others. So part yeah. of the reason for this event, we call it a race because we want to beat cancer someday, but it's really a festival, it's a celebration. You know, you don't have to run, you can walk. It's just that you're there and everyone there is connected by a cancer journey, either their own or a loved one or even a neighbor. Oklahoma is a difficult state for cancer. Right. Um, so again, th this is a celebration and really it's, a, it's an event of hope that someday cancer won't be such a difficult issue. And when you say that all the money goes to the Steve, uh, Stevenson Cancer yes. Center, um, where exactly does it go? You know, we say that time and time again. It goes right. to this, it goes right. to research, but how do those dollars really impact people who were, you know, are like you, you were once battling it yourself. Right. How do those dollars truly go to work? Well, in this race, you have the option of kind of designating where your proceeds go. And part of it, you can designate to go to additional research, such as clinical trials. What that means is it's more advanced treatment that not yet um, standard practices at Stevenson Cancer Center, they're creating the standard practices of tomorrow. The other thing you can do is you can designate Cancer is designated by color. There are certain mm -hmm. colors represent uh, certain types of cancer, and often I'll wear purple because pancreatic cancer is purple. Today I'm wearing a little bit of gray, uh, <laughs> not to be uh, not to be um, you know a uh, fall like, but because that is that is brain cancer, and that is something that is oh, wow. near and dear to me. That. One of my one of my close friends has. Um, has experienced brain cancer and has had an outcome. And again, I wanted to remember uh, him today. And so you can designate if there's a certain type of cancer, you want your funds to go support that type of research or, or most, most pressure.
pressing needs. So there will be a lot of options, but it does stay in Oklahoma and it does stay to uh, support additional cancer research. Okay, I'll wear pink for breast cancer absolutely. today, Ben. Absolutely. And I was also reading about some of the activities after the race and people yeah. crossing the finish line. You get to ring that bell. It sounds really special for everybody involved. Absolutely. Well, ringing the bell is does signify the end of your cancer yes. journey, and that is something that many many people look forward to. You know, can't wait to ring the bell or this chemo, this radiation, this the surgical procedure, you know, someday I'll get to ring that bell. So in this race, you get to do it as well to kind of maybe remember and honor what you've experienced, what you've done, but also for those whose cancer journey, you know, um, ended, it's a way to remember and honor them as well. Yep. Uh, 30 seconds left. The race is this Sunday. Tell us time, location, and cost. Yes, um, the race, you can, you can register and pick up your packet and register at uh, Red Coyote uh, running facility. Coyote. from Coyote, okay. okay. You know where that is, yes, so 47 sure. on Thursday. Also on Stevenson Cancer Center from uh, 10 o'clock to, uh, to 5 o'clock on Friday. You can register the morning of the race. Um, but lines could get a little bit long in that we expect over 1,500 runners. So there will be events basically all morning. Also, want to point out there are food trucks. And, oh, good. You know, including yeah. some you have to feed the masses while they're out there. You have to feed the masses and, and the children. Okay. So a lot of this information is also on the website for Stevenson Cancer Center and the Outpace Cancer Race uh, because so many things to do. Again, it's not really a race. It's a race against cancer, but it's a community event and there are okay. lots of things to do and we want you to come out. James, thank you so much. So good and to see if you. there's anything else we can ever do from KFCO5, please keep us apprised. Absolutely. I love your time as always.